Reforms in Indian Agriculture In this module, you will learn about the reforms made in the agricultural sector and the effects of globalization of agricultural sector. Since ancient times, agriculture is the primary activity of people living in India. Post-independence, India has progressed considerably in the agricultural sector because of the technological and institutional reforms. Let's look in detail into the technological and institutional reforms made in the agricultural sector. Technological reforms refer to the changes made in the use of technology. Owing to the technological reforms, the agriculture sector in India modernized. Various agricultural tools have been mechanized. The Persian wheel, wooden plow, and bullock carts have been replaced by the use of tractors, threshers, and monoblock or submersible pumps. 40% of land in India gets water through irrigation facilities. Today, with the use of drip irrigation and sprinklers, less water is used to obtain more production. Farmers today use chemical fertilizers like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, diammonium phosphate, DAP, urea and biofertilizers to yield a good production. The crops are protected from pests by using pesticides, insecticides and biocontrol. The government gives economic and technical aid to farmers to purchase subsidies. Necessary information on how to use fertilizers and insecticides and the information regarding the agricultural researches is imparted by the government using various media like television, radio and newspaper. At distinct level, farmers' training centers have been established. To ensure that the farmers get the benefits of the agricultural research, Gram Sevaks have been appointed. Agricultural universities have been established in every state to make the agriculturists and agro-scientists available for the farmers. For example, the Sardar Patel Krushi University, located at Dantiwada in the Banaskata district of Gujarat. Activities of the national institutes such as the Indian Council for Agricultural Research, ICAR, and Development of Agricultural Research and Education, DARE, have resulted in the increase in the farm production. Various institutional reforms have been made by the government in the agriculture sector. Zamindari system was abolished to stop the exploitation of the farmers. Legislative acts like the Land Regulation Act, Land to the Tillers Act, Tenancy Act, and Land Sealing Act have benefited the farmers in different ways. The Bhudan Yagya of Acharya Vinoba Bhave appealed to the landlords to donate a part of their land. Small land holdings were combined for farming to make them economically viable according to the Consolidation of Land program. The government has established different institutions to assist farmers. These include timely loans with lower interest rates are provided to the farmers by the cooperative banks and cooperative societies. Local marketing yards and go-downs at cooperative and government level for the farmers to get sustainable price for their produce. For example, the Gujarat Cooperative Oil Seeds Growers Federation, GrowFed, the Gujarat State Cooperative Marketing Society Limited, Guj Komasol and National Dairy Development Board, NDDB, buy the farm products from farmers at a sustainable price. Better transportation and communication facilities have been provided by the government. The Agricultural Crop Insurance Plan safeguards the interests of the farmers. The Green Revolution refers to the increase in the production of the food grains as a result of 
the use of high yielding variety of seeds an increased use of fertilizers and irrigation green revolution is a result of the technological and institutional reforms the green revolution has both positive and negative effects let's look at the positive and negative effects in detail the green revolution has increased the crop production remarkably green revolution has promoted intensive agriculture more crop yield on the same land and extensive agriculture more land under agriculture india now has a surplus of food grains the income of the farmers has increased employment and national development has also increased the green revolution has negatively affected by polluting the soil by the excessive use of chemical fertilizers and the insecticides the fertility of soil and the human health is affected by the use of chemicals however now with the use of biochemicals the fertility of the soil is retained the production is increased because of the hybrid crops in india agriculture plays a very important role in the economy as it accounts to 26% of the national income large number of people are employed in the agricultural sector nearly 64% of india's population directly depends on agriculture for livelihood raw materials for the agro based industries like the food processing industries cotton industry etc are provided by agriculture sector agriculture is an important source of foreign exchange as it plays an important role in the export trade animal husbandry along with farming can be practiced to obtain additional income india is an agrarian country 64% of the indian population is engaged in the agricultural activities agriculture in india largely depends on the rains the uncertainty and irregularity of rain causes crop failure leading to no livelihood for the farmers this has an adverse effect on the national economy the burden on farming has reduced with the improved irrigation facilities and the development of industries food security refers to the state of having a reliable access to affordable sufficient quantity of food if the demand for the food grains increases the country has to import it in abundance which is hazardous to the political freedom of the country india has become self reliant only after the green revolution in 1999 2000 despite of having surplus food grain stock a large number of people did not get two square meals a day as 26% of the indian population was below the poverty line today the farmers give less importance to the production of food grains as they largely benefit by cultivating cash crops globalization refers to the process by which any organization or country starts operating on an international scale the policy of globalization has been implemented by the government of india in the agricultural sector due to which many changes are noticed in the proportion types and form of agriculture the government has liberalized the import and export trade of agriculture products patent for the high quality agricultural products have to be registered in the name of the country use of technology and modern equipments has increased to meet the demands of higher production let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on reforms in indian agriculture